And may we in our lives, although sometimes with fear, but never without faith, experience our own new Pentecost as we strive to do God's will and not our own. Thanks be to God. So now unto God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, the ascribed as this most justly do, all might, majesty, power, and glory, and dominion, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let's pray. Establish the thing, O God, that thou hast wrought in us. For thy temple's sake in Jerusalem shall kings bring presents unto thee. Alleluia.
brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father and Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice that I have, which is grace and worthy of his name, both for our benefit and that of all faithful nature. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever living God, provide thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations, and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. Grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also, so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops, especially Shane, Brian, Stephen, Lewis, Walter, Paul, Mark, Francis, Bartholomew, Alexi, William, all priests, especially the sign worthy servant, and all deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and by the end do we administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. We most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to govern and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. Pray especially for Stephen, our bishop, Alex, Bayombe, Chris, Craig, Darlene, David, Jeff, Deborah, Eleanor, Gary, George, Greg, Jeff, Joe, John, John, Karen, Kate, Kevin, Kyle, Lanny, Laurie, Levon, Linda, Logan, Louis, Marjorie, Maureen, Megan, Michelle, Miranda, Natasha, Norma, Pat, Patrick, Paul, Peter, Rex, Robert, Priest, Rising Sun, Sarah, Sandy, Seth, Sterling, Steve, Susie, Zuby, Tamara, Teresa, Tiffany, Tom, Verna, and Vera, our U.S. military, especially Jason, Joshua, and Justin, all victims of terrorism, threats, and starvation around the world, especially the people of North Korea, Venezuela, Zimbabwe, Iran, and the Congo, all victims past, present, and to come of COVID-19. We also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, especially Vic Victoria. Beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant us, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. You who truly and earnestly repent you of your sins in our love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking us justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may have a hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins, to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Here were comfortable, comfortable words our Savior Christ said, unto all who shall return to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. 
So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all who believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Here also what St. Paul said, This is a true saying, worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Here also what St. John said, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. Supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, 
We, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee the memorial thy son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And most humbly beseech the merciful Father to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness, for sake to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit, these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and mm -hmm. blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching and grant, that by the merits of death of thy Son Jesus Christ, through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, and ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and make one body with him, and he may dwell in us, and we in him. Remember also, Lord, thy servants and handmaidens, O God, be more us of the sign of faith, and our rest in the sleep of peace. To these, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, we seek to grant a place of refreshing, of life, and of peace. The Father say to grant unto us sinners, trusting in the most through thy mercies, some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Arcelinus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all thy saints, within whose company we beseech thee to admit us. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, and command these our blessings by the ministry of thy holy angels, be brought up into thy holy tabernacle before the sight of thy divine majesty, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, <clears throat> by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee. O Father Almighty, world without end, Amen. Let us pray. And now, as our Savior Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say,
your mercies. We are not worthy so much to gather over the crumbs under thy table. But thou art the same, Lord, who brought me as always with mercy. mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so do we meet the pledge of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be clean by his body, and our souls washed with his precious blood, and that we may never more dwell in him. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who taketh away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Soul and everlasting life. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, it was given for thee. Serve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, it was given for thee. Serve thy body and soul <clears throat> unto everlasting life. and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for shed for thee. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Share thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Body and blood of our Jesus Christ. Share thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Share thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Share thy body and soul unto everlasting life.
Well, it was the rain, it was broken up. Let us pray. Cleanse our hearts, O Lord, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, 
and make them fruitful by the inward sprinkling of the dew of his grace. Through Jesus Christ, my Son, our Lord, who live and reign with thee in the, in the unity of the same Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Let us pray. Almighty God, we trust all who are dear to us, that I never fail in care and love.